Okay, this is the day after the poor. No one, as you can see, stuck on the posts. It's called sows. So there's 29 of them to do in total. So welcome to part five. Okay, so here, the garage, and the control room. This is like a smooth concrete finish. Um, the rest is going to be tiled. This is my office for now. So this morning, you might know I did them lanes in. Check the squareness of the, make sure all the posts are in the right place. Everything's got to go. So, anyway. So I'll be heading off to Shanghai to the hospital. I've got an appointment there. Let's see, four specialists different things but uh, when I get back on Tuesday Wednesday all these posts will be done yeah but the, um, yeah the look more the big one by lot um, yeah that's all done now she's got to fill that Mark the centre marks. The post. Some of the posts aren't quite in place, they're about a centimetre. A couple of more anyway. So you can see the datum line here. So then we've got some supports to make sure it stays level. Jolly good. So okay. I'll show you the boat a bit more. What's going on? So after this is done anyway, I, um, then we start on the roof. And that'll be phase one done. Okay guys, I'm back from Shanghai. So anyway, welcome back to Part five. So as you can see, all the posts are in now. So we just had the roof and supply company just out for, for soldering the steel and the roof panels. So the guys are just going to finish trimming up the wall a little bit, tidy it up a bit. I think Pi forgot to turn. The Pi, my one loom law. Nam. <laughs> right, well, normally what we do, we fill the tank up full of water uh, to keep it weighted down. Uh, but pie, she, for she forgot. Oh, damn, Mark. You're going to have to pump some of the water out so I can backfill this. Yeah, so what I would do, so that they're working fine anyway, um, drop the pump in there. Short, shorten the pipe extension out uh, so we can just pump the water. Do you know what I mean? Out. 
Yeah, as you can see, we've got. Oh, I forgot that's the bottom. We just missed a step there. So we've got the uh, septic tanks in place now. So we've just got to get them connected up soon. So yeah, yesterday when we come back and um, it was only me and Pi on site, we dropped the tanks in place and filled them with water and then we started backfilling. Oh, Pi forgot to take, turn the tap off on that one. That's okay, helps with the settlement. So this area here is going to be the labian or the deck area and on the roof on this one's going to have the solar panels um, supplied by um, Killen down in Patia, iTech I Solar um, absolutely great guy, I've used them for many years uh, over here is going to be the control room so we still, this is going to be a step down into the laundry area so the, we've got to extend this out a little bit where the wall's going um, for the washing machine and that going there and this is going to be the control room there's going to be a door a door here uh, into the garage there's mum on a bike out oh, cafe so i just asked them to tidy it up a bit get ready for priming Yeah, so we've had some pretty bad rain while I was away so what we're going to be doing now is extending this out all the way up to there so there's an opening so far up there just in front of the car that's going to be a one meter gate opening and then we have a four meter gate opening driveway in up the top there um, so we're going to finish this off tidy it up a little bit Make sure they were nice and neat. I'm glad someone's cleaning the excavator up. Oh, it's that moat. My paw, you dancer boy. <coughs> so, yeah, I've asked for a bit of a slope on, so when it rains, the water will just run straight off. In it. Yeah, nice way. Pi, can you tell them just to check on the sows, fill in properly? You know, don't don't just do that. Make sure they do the job properly. Tap sow. Yeah, there is sow. My set. No, 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 tiny, no. I don't miss nothing. Yeah, so anyway, the other thing is, uh, when we connect into the tanks there, then we run a water overflow system that comes up down to here. And then run through, there's a tools there, and a big uh, tank on the other side, which is like a leach tank, overflow tank. And I'll save on that one, that will come in, go through there. Because the soil is going to come up quite high here. That'll teach you. Who's a silly girl? Anyway, I'm gonna put the drone up now. And I'll show you more after that, as the day progresses.
เออใช่นี่นู่นเอาเอาแล้วผมจะแกะออกเป็นตัวใช่ใช่เสียบไปเล็กถูกต้องถูกใช่ใช่เสริมเสริมข้างเสานะอืมได้โอเค so doing the part there finishing the front wall off I've got one try to get this thing started been on three days uh, had a lot of rain causing some issues so I can get the front wall finished off now the guys are arriving today for the roof we've got to continue this over So it turns here, but it's got to be straight, yeah? Right. This is going to be the entrance, uh, the small door. Yeah, so you need to do one, two, three, four. We've got a big part to put in here for the main post here, one there. That's all the steel under the wrap there. So it's going to be great to get all this done now. We did have one issue here. Well, normally with the septic tanks, you fill them with water when you, after you put them in the ground on the concrete base. No problem with that one. We we'll probably only half fill that one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I popped it like a cork, so I've got to get in, take that one back out, clean it all up, and then reset it, and then fill it back up again. And then, uh, will be good to go yeah you because know, it's got to be down like that just some of the issues we get with um with the rain this time of year so I've been around marking all the datum line on the posts every one so I've got to draw that round and uh, all the heights are worked off that for the roof for the flooring uh, for the windows, height of the windows and everything I worked off these data lines so so I expect to pour concrete this afternoon Babe it hasn't got a curve, it's got to be straight no, no curve. You did. You just didn't listen to what I said before. It's got to be hey, strong. My own muna. Strong. I said cut the steel. I did say cut the steel. Make it straight. No way they're going to be ready for this afternoon. Did you order the rest of the steel for this? See you. You want to allow? So basically what he's doing now, stripping it down and then rebuilding it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep on top of it. got to keep on top of these guys. Like anyone. If you want what you, if you want. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, if you want uh, things done properly, you got to You've got to have eyes like a hawk. Okay, so that's ready. Just about for the pour. We weren't going to be ready today, but it looks like we are going to be ready today. Still got to chase out a bit of that. A bit out on this side. And put the top rebar in. We keep everything straight. So... So I'll straighten that up a bit. 
Pike, just make sure that this part's straight as well, you know, it's snakes. Because if they've ordered the concrete in 30 minutes, they're not going to be ready. Are you okay at 4.30? That's an hour. You've got to make sure all that's straight, that steel is straight. Okay. So the roof team has arrived. Can see all the steel work and that ready to do the form for the wall. So we're getting some of the steel done. We primed them here. And uh, we had a failure on one of the septic tanks, so we'll have to get a new one tomorrow. Because it's been sitting outside for nearly five years. So it was very brittle. So what I did, I put the drone up, mark everything out where all the walls are going. Where the blue line is, that's all drywall. That's the bedroom. So this one here is the shower area. And that one's the toilet. This is a corridor. There's actually a window going here. Elongated window. This is the guest room. And this room is going to be the gymnasium come office type thing. So where the chop saws, that's where the door you come in from the garage. No, am I? My lawn! You can see it's coming along the corridor, turns 45 here, into the living room, kitchen over there. This comes off to the bedrooms, two bedrooms here. So it's gone from five bedrooms to three bedrooms and a closet. Uh, was it, was, was it five bedroom? It was originally five bedrooms. We've made the master bedroom bigger and all that. So there's a walk-in closet there and a walk-in closet here. So I'll show you where the aerial photo of the room mark outs. But here this is the kitchen area. So that's drywall. It's gonna have a recess there for the refrigerator and level uh, Microwave and oven, and this where the steel is. That's the washroom, the laundry room. And you step down into where the washing machine and dryer are. So that's a wet area. And this area is going to be the control room for the solar and storage. So. Kitty has been on that all day, just the two of them. So the opening there is for the posts. Um, Got to do 40 by 40. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we just have to dig out for the old septic that broke. Yeah, normally when you buy them, you, you get them in the ground, but the previous company that bought them for the house that used to be here, uh, they left them outside. So we're just going to let the water settle, clean all that out, and put a new one in. That one's okay, no problems with that one. But yeah, this one was leaking, and it popped up like a cork, and I uh, found out there was a fracture, so I, I dug around, seen water leaking, found out what the problem was. And that's it over there, all smashed up. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, for this episode. And I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye for now.